this video, we're going to use Le Chatelier's principle to predict whether a reaction will shift to the left or shift to the right. So the stress that we're going to apply to this reaction will be concentration. So how does changing the concentration affect this reaction? Remember that Le Chatelier's principle says if a stress is applied to a system, the system reacts to relieve that stress. So here is the stress. We increase the concentration of ammonia. So this goes up. So if the stress is increasing the concentration of the ammonia, the way that the reaction will react to relieve the stress will of course be to decrease the concentration of this. And the way that the reaction decreases the concentration of this is that more of these products turn into reactants. So the reactants um, concentration becomes greater. So this reaction shifts to the left. Let's suppose we decrease the concentration of ammonia. So if the stress is decreasing this, the way that the reaction can uh, um, reduce that stress is to make more of it. So the reaction shifts to the right. Let's say we decrease the concentration of hydrogen. Well, that means the reaction will try to increase the concentration of hydrogen. So the reaction will shift left. Let's say we increase the concentration of nitrogen. Yeah, you guessed it. The reaction shifts right in an attempt to decrease the concentration of nitrogen. Why does it shift to the right? Well, can we explain that? I think we can using the collision theory. So if we increase the concentration of nitrogen, well, in order for nitrogen to react, it has to collide with a hydrogen. That's the only way that nitrogen and hydrogen can form ammonia. So if we increase the constant of concentration of nitrogen, there will just simply be more nitrogen around. Um, so it's more likely there'll be collisions. Here's a little more um, challenging question. So if we increase the concentration of nitrogen, the reaction shifts right. We just established that. What happens to the concentration of ammonia and hydrogen? Well, if we increase the concentration of nitrogen, the reaction shifts right. So the concentration of ammonia should increase. But what happens to the concentration of hydrogen? Well, let's think. What two things are required to make ammonia? Well, obviously, they're nitrogen and hydrogen. So if the reaction shifts to the right and we make more ammonia, that means we're consuming nitrogen and hydrogen. So the amount of hydrogen will go down or will decrease.